Hello everyone, welcome to eKeda platform and this is Ravin Jangir here, your electrical faculty. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the average direct voltage for mu is greater than 60 degree. So let's start with the uh, expression. So if we talk about the expression of the average direct voltage, okay, then look at here, then look at here. This is the VD and it is operating from 3 upon pi. This is the time period, you know. And this integration is actually from alpha plus mu minus 60 that we have already discussed about in the last lecture. Okay. And I have clearly mentioned what will be the integration limits from where to where it will operate. And due to and as the overlapping will happen, so what, what kind of it should be. Then alpha plus mu minus 60 to alpha plus 60, it will operate. And it is kind of it is kind of one second it is written wrong it is kind of minus 3 by 2 ec and then d, o, d omega t okay so it's in, integration is kind of from alpha plus mu minus 60 to alpha plus 60 then after the after uh, putting these values what are the value of ec and what are the values of uh, em here then look at this if we talk about the ec then this ec is equal to minus em cos omega t and what is the value of em that is actually one second that is actually root 2 by 3 inside the root that is the 2 by 3 ELL okay so then we have to put and the simply integrate but the one thing uh, should come in your mind the why we have not taken the range from alpha to alpha to alpha plus alpha minus 60 because we had the two ranges alpha to alpha plus u minus 60 and then second range was alpha plus u minus 60 to alpha plus 60 but we have not taken this range because in this range because in this range the value of the vd value of the vd is going to be zero and that is actually written here so i can i can clearly say in this range alpha to alpha plus mu minus 60 degree the vd is going to be zero so why should we take okay then we have eliminated already eliminated and after the simply integ integration we will get the vd 3 3 upon pi 3 by 2 em sine alpha plus 60 minus sine alpha plus mu minus 60 because the integration of the cos omega t is going to be sine omega t and after the putting this integration limits from here to here lower to higher value then it is going to be sine alpha plus 60 minus sine alpha plus mu minus 60 taking the minus sign inside then you will uh, then you will have this equation i can write this equation as a zero zero equation so i can uh, after the some uh, sim simplifications i can change from sine to cos and uh, rest from uh, which is the coefficient of that bracket there is a 3 into 3 pi 2 e so I can clearly simplification by the simple manipula manipulation you can say I can put the value root 3 that is I can show you that is the root 3 by 2 v d naught cos alpha minus 30 plus cos alpha plus u minus u plus 30 degree and that is from sine to cos using the 90 degree angle then I can say this is this is the equation number one we have already mentioned now if i talk about the id which was discussed in the lecture uh, last lecture okay last lecture last slide then uh, you can see here this one this is the is1 upon 2 cos alpha minus 30 minus cos alpha plus u plus 30 in this way i have used that equation using th th these two equations i can some simplification i can do the some simplification also here so what we have done firstly you know what is the vd naught what is the value of the vd naught as we know the what is the vd naught vd naught is equal to root 3 upon pi 2 and this is ell okay so this is the value of uh, vd naught so if we I, if i talk about the id is equal to is1 by 2 and cos alpha minus 30 and then after the simplification you can write these values okay so then you will get 
after the simplification and putting the values and multiplication then these manipulation after the manipulations you will get the vd is equal to vd naught root 3 cos alpha minus 30 minus 3 by 2 id iss this is the basic math mathematics you have to just put the values of uh, the different variables which are shown here and these variables these values of the variables i are already discussed in the previous lectures just so you have to simplify and you will get this answer and this is ultimately we can write that is vd is equal to and this is kind of a similar equation we have already discussed for the mu less than th uh, 60 degrees sorry mu is less than 60 degrees that is vd is equal to root 3 vd naught cos alpha minus 30 minus 3 rc id so that is for the average direct voltage for the mu is greater than 60 degree this rc is uh, do you know what is this rc this is commutation resistance commutation resistance and this thing you have already seen in the last to last lectures and that was related with the mu less than 60 degree so i can say that as we know one second i can say that as we know that mu for the for mu less than 60 degree we had the equation that is we had the equation what is kind of vd is equal to you can uh, read there vd is equal to vd naught cos alpha minus id upon 2 iss and then after the simplification and after the opening of that we have written vd naught cos alpha minus rc into id so what is kind of it is similar equation okay but what what has been changed here if i talk about this rc if i talk about this one so you can say the commutating resistance is actually the three times not the more than it is actually the three times this cut i am cutting here equivalent commutation resistance this is the equivalent commutation resistance i am talking about the rc resistance here it is actually three times if i am taking the case one this is the case one okay or you can say this is the for the mode number one so in this mode number one you are getting the vd is equal to an inside and the vd formula you are getting the rc but in this you are getting 3 rc so clearly you can clearly relate that the commutating resistance what is the equivalent commutating resistance is actually three times the case of mu in that case of mu less than 60 degree okay now we will move for the another some points and these are actually the important points now we have to discuss so when we talk about when we talk about the alpha is equal to zero degree alpha is equal to zero degree so what will happen that overlap angle will tend to this overlap angle okay overlap angle is actually mu and this overlap angle will tend to 60 degree and when it id will increase that is is into 1 minus cos 60 put, uh, while putting this value you will get 1 by 2 is so i can say alpha is equal to 60 then mu will tend to 60 degree and along with that id will uh, id will increases to 1 by 2 is so value of the id will increase to 1 by 2 is that you have to remember now if i talk about what what will happen if there is a mu is equal to 60 degree then as three walls are conducting all the time so please remember when mu is equal to 60 degree in that case the three walls in mode one two and three walls are conducting and mode number uh, three there are the three and the four walls are conducting and we have already discussed about that but when the mu is equal to 60 degree then only three walls will conducting all the time all the time there will be only the three wall conduction and but what what uh, would have happened in the last lecture the only three four either three and then four three four just like in the alternative manner in the mode number three the three and four walls are conducting okay so uh, please remember this the mu if the mu is equal to 60 degree then you have to remember that he that three walls are conducting all the time okay three walls are conducting all the time now this is going to be interesting here if i talk about the alpha is less than 30 degree alpha less than 30 degree then direct current direct current increases to only when alpha increases because i can say that for the that commutation 
or you can say that commutation value you have to remember that the alpha should be greater than 30 degree for that operation we have discussed in from the last uh, from the last lecture the whatever the topics i have discussed in the last lecture and up to here the one thing is uh, should be clear that the voltage direct voltage is only obtained when the alpha is greater than or 30 degree so if the what what have will happen if alpha is less than 30 degree direct current increases only when the alpha increases and mu is maintained constant at alpha is equal to 60 degree okay at that time mu is actually of the uh, maintained constant we have maintained the value of the mu at the value of the 60 degree okay now we will move now we will move for the next one if i talk about the u cannot be increased beyond the 60 degree okay in that case for if we are taking alpha equal to 30 degree so what will be the benefit of the taking the mu is greater than 60 degree what will be the benefit of taking the mode number 3 mode mode number 3 that is the mu is greater than or equal to 60 degree is only applied when alpha is less than 30 degree. okay so that is correlated terms that are both are correlated terms so for the uh, for the operation of the mu more than the 60 degree the alpha should be greater than the 30 degree that then it can be that only it can operate so we can simplify this uh, graph also so if i talk about this graph then it is consisting the three waveforms as the ea eb and ec so look at this one ea eb and ec this is the uh, third uh, third waveform so if we are uh, please concentrate on this waveform this is kind of like this so this is uh, eb plus ec by 2 and it is uh, look at this point okay this is the origin this is the origin and this is a vertical line we have drawn now this is the point where where this ea and this this waveform is eb plus ec by 2 both are operating at this and correspondingly if i talk about the ec this ec is equal to in the negative okay so we have to determine at the point b and we can say the commutation will be like this as i am this uh, drawing this i am not drawing this i am just saying that the commutation is like this commutation waveform so i can start from the a to b so what is happening from a to b okay so, so i can say from the figure it is actually explaining the minimum delay angle that is a 30 degree for the conduction of mu greater than 60 degree the mini minimum angle is 30 degree because when the mu is equal to 60 degree exactly equal to 60 degree or if let us suppose mu is less than 60 degree then only 2 and 3 volts are conducted for the conduction of more than 3 volts for the conduction of more than 3 volts then the mu should be greater than 60 degree the mu only will be greater than 60 degree when the alpha is at least 30 degree there is a correlation please remember this mu is going to be 60 more than 60 degree then only the 3 and 4 volt conduct and the condition is that the minimum minimum delay is actually 30 degree okay so this can be explained okay remember this point now i am going further some points so if i talk about 2 and 6 are already operating so i am taking i have taken the some example or i have taken the some consideration let us say the wall number 2 and the wall number 6 are already operating if the wall number 2 and the wall number 6 are already operating and the wall number 3 is going to be fired then at that time the wall number 3 will have the anode and the cathode potential then this wall this wall this is called the anode and this is called the cathode one second this is called the anode and this is called the your cathode so if i talk about the anode and cathode potential then anode will have the eb plus ec by 2 equal to minus ea by 2 okay that is going to be minus ea by 2 you can uh, you can look at here one second minus ea by 2 okay this is ea so at that time you will have the minus ea by 2 okay now so but at the cathode there is plus ea but at the cathode if i talk about this that is a plus ea okay now i can see that i can write that hence ea is negative the wall number three cannot conduct even after the gate pulse 
okay let us suppose that ea is negative okay at this time if ea is negative at this time if ea is negative then i can say even if you are providing the gate pulses when you are providing the gate pulses it should be actually operated or it should be fired in sense but what is happening even if you are not pro if even if you are providing the gate pulse it is not conducting so that is the disadvantage of that that's why we are actually doing or we are actually taking the alpha is equal to or greater than 30 degree and we can say this is the intermediate mode what type of mode this is the intermediate mode okay one second this is a kind of intermediate mode okay and for when the value when, when the value of the overlap angle remains constant at 60 degree okay it is a kind of intermediate mode and at that time the value of uh, overlapping angle that is the mu will be constant at 60 degree so i can clearly mention from that in this mode the vd as the vd increases okay as the vd increases so automatically alpha is going to be increased there alpha is going to be increased there. so there that is a correlation so it is actually a bit complicated but you have to remember some of the points which will be beneficial while writing your academic exams okay you cannot remember all the things the put uh, put the concentration on uh, your uh, the basic things then you can automatically relate all the topics with each other so uh, i hope you have understood up to this so tata bye bye and thank you